In this video, we'll discuss linear regression in depth. Linear regression is an algorithm that finds a line that best fits a set of data points. Suppose that our data consists of the following data points. In this case, linear regression will find a line that approximates the general shape of this cloud of points. Once you have this line, you can use it to make predictions. If someone gives you a new value of x, you'll be able to predict the corresponding value of y by simply evaluating the equation for the line. Your predictions may not match the original data points perfectly. You can see in the diagram that some of the data points are above the line, others are below. It's impossible for a straight line to go through all the data points, but linear regression does the best job it can by finding the line that minimizes the error between the actual data points and the predicted line. So basically, linear regression minimizes the total length of all the light blue lines in the diagram. The most common form of the algorithm actually minimizes the sum of the squared lengths of those lines, and for that reason it's often called least squares regression. So far we've been looking at examples where we're predicting y as a function of a single feature x. When there's only one feature, we can represent the prediction as a line. What happens if we have two features, let's say x1 and x2? In that case, y will be a linear function of both x1 and x2 making our predictions a plane in 3D. In general, if there are more features, the prediction will be a hyperplane, which is hard to visualize, but the intuition is pretty much the same. Linear regression finds a hyperplane that best represents the multidimensional data points. Let's consider the one-dimensional scenario again, where we have a single feature x and we want to predict y. You can see in this diagram the equation for a straight line. We already have the values for x and y in our data, so the linear regression algorithm will work on finding the best values for a and b. In this formula, a represents the value of y where the line intersects the y-axis, and b represents the slope of that line. Once linear regression finds the best values for a and b, we can give it any x we want, and the formula gives us a prediction y. Okay, we covered a lot of information, but now we have a very solid understanding of what goes on behind the scenes when we train a linear regression algorithm. In the next video, I'll discuss correlation, which is an important concept to understand when training linear regression models.